KTS Tulsi on the phone line with us. Uh, Mr. Tulsi, what are the options before the former Supreme Court Justice now? Options? Um, I, I mean, I, I learned that he has already resigned. He has resigned. So now, would a normal case, like in case of any other ordinary citizen of this country, would the same case uh, be applied in terms of uh, uh, the allegations against Justice Ganguly? Of course, the same law will apply. And uh, the, if the law is that under Section 154, the aggrieved person has to make a complaint, and that complaint has got to be recorded, video recorded in the police station, and then copy thereof has to be sent to the magistrate under section, who will record the statement under 164. The entire procedure which is prescribed under law for the offense of sexual harassment will, will, be, will have to be taken. If the intern does not make a complaint to the police, no one else can initiate any in investigation or inquiry. Mr. Tulsi, many have suggested that as far as, uh, especially those who have supported along the way Justice A.K. Ganguly, that there was no real basis. It was just an allegation made, which is the reason why the West Bengal Human Rights Commission chairman, as he was till a short while back, Justice A.K. Ganguly really did not have... Um, should have resigned in that sense. But don't you think on the basis of probity this should have happened much earlier? You see, if you are uh, being hounded by the media and demonized by them day in and day out, then how do you exercise the choice of resigning? You have to give an honorable way out. And uh, since the honorable way out was denied, the resignation at any earlier stage would have been uh, un understood by by the public to be an admission of guilt. So therefore, one is caught in a catch-22 situation. If you resign, you are presumed to have or you are believed to have admitted to the offense, to the impropriety or to the offense of uh, sexual harassment. If you don't resign, then you say lacks probity. So either way, the media made things impossible for him, I think. Mr. Tulsi, uh, uh, with, with due respect to you, first of all, it has not been the media hounding uh, Justice A.K. Ganguly in terms of uh, how many have suggested as a witch hunt. It has been clearly a story which has been followed. Extremely grave charges were made against him. Uh, there is no, an no, argument that, yes, media, this is an allegation, but at the same time, a I story a has to be followed to its logical end. No, the section of the media actually acted as a lynch mob and you know it, it, it just everybody catches on and uh, just doesn't give you any option the media needs to respect constitutional values but you can't take away from the argument that if there are charges against a certain um, uh, individual especially somebody who holds the position of chairman of the west bengal human rights commission then if those charges are there he can step down uh, for These a fair probe charges. to take place these are not charges, these are allegations. If there is an allegation made by somebody 11 months after, the question really is that media presumes them to be true and presumes you to be guilty, whereas the Constitution presumes you to be innocent. If the media was to continue to act in, in breach of and subverting the rule of law, it will be a sad day. We, we will, we will uh, see that... Uh, Mr. Yeah, Tulsi, we'll continue this argument. I think we have gone away from the story and gone into um, uh, the merits and demerits of uh, the media following a story to its logical end. But thank you so much for joining us on a day when the man on your screens leaving the Raj Bhavan in Kolkata just a short while back as the former Justice of the Supreme Court, A.K. Ganguly, stepped down, tendered his resignation following grave allegations of sexual harassment.